how do you define inspiration? Now, for some people, it's travel, whereas for other people, it's color. The act of truly being inspired is unique and personal to everybody, and it really does define the design industry year after year. Now, one thing is for sure, you are definitely gonna be inspired this year at High Point Market. So I invite you to come with me. We are gonna tour this place. We are gonna meet the movers and the shakers in the design industry and find out what makes them tick. I'm Kelly Edwards with Editor-at-Large, and I think we need to start this tour. What inspires you professionally and personally? You know, I have lived in New York now for 21 years, and I always see something new that's something inspiring. Yeah. I bike everywhere that I go, and I kind of experience the city at a different speed. And it, whenever I travel, I also bike around. And I find that it's a time that your mind can be kind of free to like wander around, see different things. And I cannot tell you how many things that I've seen that have inspired me just through either traveling and biking when I'm traveling or just biking through New York City. You know, when you're working on something and you're really trying to figure out a creative solution, just sitting there pounding away never works. So as much as you can kind of take a little break and take some time off, I think that you know, it really allows you to kind of think creatively and see new things. We're so inundated with food and art and architecture in New York City and it's just, it's a great place to kind of see things that inspire you. Saturday mornings I like to get up and get to the Museum of Modern Art when it opens at 10. When it's empty and I like to just take, have a big cup of coffee and walk through. I love to do that. When I come down to market, I find I get very inspired by the people I meet here who are doing really original work, that are doing stuff that's not just sort of following trends, but putting things together that seem just funky and different and personal. There's a lot of formulas out there for following trends or other people, but there are a few people who just sort of carve their own path. And they can, be, they can be in the furniture business, they can be in the accessories business, they can be artists. It's all the same to me. I find them all inspiring. I'm so inspired by vintage fashion and future forward fashion. To us, style is such a key element of design. I have an affinity with the English. <laughs> it's just in tailoring. I mean, I love a good Savile Row suit. Mm -hmm. Gets me going. So every time we go, you know, I'm in my big coats and yeah. hats and yes. scarves. Yes, there and must be something about yeah. a far distant <laughs> land because I'm very inspired by Parisian, but, but kind of the old romantic eras. As a designer, I love to look at interior spaces, and I know interior designers that look to us and what we're doing. I always say that you can be inspired by anything and everything, as long as you're not on the hunt for it. You really have to, it really has to be a natural thing. Uh, you know, I can, last season, you know, our collection was inspired by the ballet, and, um, and you know, this, the idea of kind of whimsy and romance and femininity that the kind of ballet brings, um, and I almost kind of, did this, I always like to start with fantasy and dream pieces, so maybe they're my kind of finale pieces in my show, uh, and then I love to build off of them. I think that fashion is a really powerful tool, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of help, helping people understand sort of color and texture and pattern, and using that as a reference point I think sometimes really can be, um, you know, I always say to someone like, would you wear these pants with this shirt? then it'll look right in your house. Yes. Inspiration is all up to the individual. It's about exposing yourself, keeping yourself open, mm -hmm. and just, you know, and, and really just enjoying all of these different experiences and paying attention. I have a piece of furniture here that was inspired by a cigarette. I have, uh, I have a chair over there that was inspired by an, an airport. I have another chair that was inspired by an airplane. Uh, you know, so That's it's- That's amazing. A, so it just, inspiration can come from any situation. So I don't know about you, but I'm definitely feeling inspired. Thanks so much for taking the tour with me of High Point Market. I'm Kelly Edwards with Editor TV, and we'll see you back here next season.